Chances are, if you were to blindfold someone and walk them into Quest Elementary on a Friday, they would know exactly where they were and what day of the week it was. That's because for more than 30 years, in fact longer than there has been a Quest, there has been Popcorn Friday. Well, here at Quest, it's all about traditions. We've got quite a few that we try to hang on to. This one originated with a former teacher, one of the originators of the school, Patrick Cruckton. It actually started when he was a brand new teacher down in the district, Fillmore, south of here. Um, custodian was getting him to stop and talk about his week and basically enjoy some popcorn while reflecting about what's going well and what's not. So he started it in Quest when Quest was just over in the hallway in Village Elementary. And every Friday he'd come in, 6.30 in the morning, pop popcorn for a select group of classes that really wanted it. And his mission was kind of say, hey, when you do this, make sure your class takes a second, reflects on the week. And it was really like what Carol said, it was a chance to build community within the classroom. So they're all talking to each other, talking about their learning for the week. Well, this is a great tradition that Patrick Crookton started uh, many years ago. And, uh, you know, it's been a tradition every Friday and it's just grown and grown over, over our time here at Quest. Um, my kids came to Quest and they remember Popcorn Fridays. The process has changed quite a bit. When the tradition first popped up, the work was done in the school's kitchen, in pots, on a stove. Now, with the support of the PTSO, there are two machines churning out the treats. And we had one popcorn machine um, and PTSO purchased us a second one. So now if I get in here in 6.30 and get them both going at the same time, we can usually be finished before the kids start arriving at 8 o'clock. And now we have also have every single classroom participating. We have a lot of our offices. We have our OT, PT, Reading Center, Math Center. We have our custodians, our Spanish teacher. We have some people in central office come in. Um, yeah, so it's really grown. We're popping at max capacity, feeding the whole building on a Friday morning. Greg and I, uh, you know, coordinate when, we were, when we're going to pop. and. Uh, Who's going to pop? Sometimes it's him, sometimes it's both of us, sometimes it's me. So, um, and we luckily have these two great machines. The PTSO, you know, provides uh, funding for us, and uh, it's much quicker with two machines. You know, especially getting you know here in the more early mornings. Take a second and think to yourself what's something I did well this week, and what's something I wanted to even better next week. The smell and the taste are great, but there's more to the snack than the kernels themselves. It's about the kernels of truth that can come out as part of the conversations the classes have while they enjoy their treats. You're building community with your classroom, you know, and giving the kids the opportunity to, you know, share food and reflection and conversation. I'll be honest with you, David, it's probably my favorite part of Friday. I walk around, usually around noon, between 11 and noon, I'll peek into a couple classrooms and I've got a few of them where I time it just right, where I'm walking by the room while they're getting their popcorn. And to hear them just talk about, you know, what they learned this week, something that was really good, something that they were proud of. To me, that's what it's all about. They're doing it over popcorn. Who doesn't like that? It's your snack. And then having them, seeing them build the community. We're all about the Ivy Learner profiles here, so they're being communicators. And they're sitting there speaking their mind, what went well, what they, uh, what they learned for that, for that last week, for this past week. Kayla Reese knows about this tradition from multiple perspectives. She attended Quest as a student, and now as a teacher, She's the one handing out the popcorn and leading the discussion. So when I was here at Quest Elementary, um, I specifically remember just sitting with my classes and being able to just talk to them and eat popcorn together and just kind of connect with each other. And so that's kind of what we aim to do in my classroom now, just because I remember all the good memories that I had when I was a kid here. So we want to make sure that we build that classroom culture and um, eat popcorn and just have a good time. <laughs> I feel like since everyone's so accepting and when you build that culture, they feel more open to like respond and connect with others, even if they're like somebody who's shy. As soon as you walk into the hallway, you get a big, you get hit in the face. Oh, it's Friday, it's popcorn. So it just starts the weekend off. You know, like people are fired up when they get here. They'll walk by my room. They'll see the machine down in front of the office. They get excited about it. And you know, they ask about it all the time. Carol will usually be bringing the machine to my room on Thursday afternoon, evening, they'll see it getting put, oh, tomorrow's Popcorn Friday. A lot of excitement, a lot of excitement. The man who started the tradition here has also taken it with him. Patrick Cruckton is a teacher in Greeley, Colorado now. So if you're ever in a school there and smell popcorn, you'll know what day it is.